failed marriage globally has been identified as one of the major hindrances to development. In Zambia, 31% of women marry before the age of 18. As an intervention, government in partnership with UNICEF is implementing a pilot program on ending child marriage in Senanga and Katete districts. In Senanga district of Western Province, the action plan on ending child marriage was launched in December 2018 by the Minister of Gender Elizabeth Piri. Since its launch, the district has embarked on various activities such as community dialogues, adolescent-friendly spaces, and menstrual hygiene management as a way of ending the vice. UNICEF country representative Nola Skina toured Lumbe, Mwanamwali, and Sivukali wards where the pilot program is being supported. In Lumbe ward, Ms. Skina and the entourage interacted with community members and the menstrual hygiene management club at the school. Libizo laka kina nola skina. Kuzwelela kwa ketengo kakabona za ukitu kwa banana ka UNICEF kwa usaka. Banana. So we are passionate defenders of the rights of children. Luna mane mutomwalu na kiwakuye melaba nana kova ya kova kuwa. And we believe that every child has the right to grow up healthy, well educated, safe, and able to make the right choices in life and develop to their full potential. So I want to, to thank uh, my colleague who has revealed to us that maybe this is the first time you're getting a delegation of this composition coming to your ward. But I can guarantee you it won't be the last time. Because I think it is really important that we continue to follow the leadership that has been set by the district. But the ownership, the ownership of the results belongs to you. And I really want you to have belief in the positive impact that you can make because you are you are real people of influence in your community and you can and you are making it kama nyalo abana na bale wasaje baba inyani nyaba itakale za kunyala basi kafta ma 18 years kapa 25 years ko azel usweli ku kuvulela nikana ko yelu sali sweli ku kuvulela na se in this club, not that we do menstruate, no, but to help our girls in managing their messes. Before the club came to action, we used it lovely at girls when one messed up herself. Now, after having learned more about menstruation, that it is nature for the female form, we, 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 help, we help with them in a number of ways as follows. One, by encouraging them to come to school even when they are attending. Two, by suing parties. Three, by educating other boys more about menstruation. Four, by, by helping girls. Community Welfare Assistant Committees, CWACs, are among the major stakeholders that have played a vital role through various community engagements such as community dialogues and the use of drama as a way of ending child marriage. Who do you talk to? Who gives you advice? It's the CWACs. I really want to thank you, all of the CWACs, and really encourage you, all of you who are active in school improvement committees, in adolescent health services, in community welfare assistance, community development assistance. And I want to say here, and my my colleague from Zanis is here, so I'm saying it on record. We have ordered some t-shirts for you to Thank support you. your identification Thank and they should be arriving, Thank I you. hope, in the soon. Since the launch of the campaign through the CWACs, children who dropped out of school have re-entered. Trust me, I'm Patrice Lilo. I stopped in grade four 
Adolescent friendly spaces have been revamped as a way of providing sexual productive health among adolescents in communities. The broad change from Mwanamari, as we can also see from the figures, they will speak for themselves. Yes, people have really welcomed it with it, but the body against. After the tour, the UNICEF representative and the entourage were happy with the findings in the three wards. And I'm very pleased as the UNICEF country representative to have had the chance to be part of this delegation, uh, visiting schools, visiting communities, visiting adolescent friendly spaces, talking to indunas, to parents, to siwaks, to school children themselves, to peer educators, to get a sense of how this district action plan is being brought to life here in Senegal. Now the district action plan uh, has derived from the national action plan to end child marriage and there are four main pillars to this district action plan. The first is to reduce economic vulnerability, the second is to support transformational quality education, the third is to support community engagement and the fourth is to promote health and well-being with a focus on adolescent health and well-being. And during my time in the field this week I have really learned the value, the relevance and the importance of all of these four pillars. We've had the chance to participate in community dialogues. We've had the chance to see theatre, interaction between CWACs and the community members. We've had a chance to meet Indunas. And it really is so clear that everyone has a part to play to end child marriage. The other thing that's become very clear to me um, in these last few days is that we talk about the importance of a multi-sectoral approach. For me, this multi-sectoral approach is essential, but it goes beyond looking at multi-sectors. It's about the dependency and interdependency between the sectors and the impact that working together will have to end child marriage. Following this, uh, this visit, uh, one thing that has uh, bothered us as district administration and uh, the country rep in particular as well and the team that came through is uh, we discussed but the issue is what next after these people complete their education they finish grade 12 is there any other opportunities they need to pursue in terms of can they get to the university can they get into any tertiary 
institutions to go and even learn trades and so forth so that they become ambassadors for those areas and when they become ambassador for those areas it will be much much easier to actually continue with these programs of building those particular areas but without us looking at all these addressing all these issues it will continue being a challenge because these people will end up continuing with the kind of setup that they find themselves in they complete education, they don't have anywhere to go, they don't have anything to do. So all these are linking to one, to the other, and so forth. So we need to continuously address this thing and fine-tune until we finally succeed. And as a district, I feel we, we are on the right course. We are speaking to our uh, action plan for the district. We want to make sure that everything comes out 100%. That is our target. We should not leave anything unturned. We want everybody touched according to the 7th National Development Plan. And uh, so far, so good uh, is what we can say. And uh, we are grateful actually to all the partners that are coming board on board and would like to have a scenario where we have so many others. We have a marketing tool where they are currently. We have so much of a challenge to reach their areas. A distance of 160 kilometers taking you seven hours to eight hours to drive and reach. I think it's, it's, it's not an easy thing. It's, it's, a, it's a huge challenge. So it's, uh, it's that that we are grateful to UNICEF, we are grateful to the Ministry of Gender, we are grateful to IOM. IOM have come on board because uh, of issues to do with uh, human trafficking. We have a number of uh, our children that are being trafficked to our neighboring countries, all in the hope that they'll find better lives there. But that is not the case. The case is they are being trafficked there for cheap labor, they are being trafficked there for prostitution, they are being trafficked there for even body parts. And this we need to fight. And we are fighting with IOM. They have done quite a lot in the, in the couple of months uh, gone by. So. Really, we are grateful to all our partners, we are grateful to all the government workers and... Uh, and our children in the remote areas usually drop out of school for various reasons. And uh, what I witnessed when I was out there is that most of our girls actually who dropped out from school have returned to uh, back to school. And uh, this is as a result of the CWAC members that we are working with, the community group members that we are working with who come to the school and they share with the school management about uh... A continued multi-sector approach in the district is key towards the success of the pilot program on ending child marriage in Senanga district. Oh, mama, I...